breakouts. They are a fast-paced, thrilling way to make significant money in the financial markets. Imagine being on the right side of a major price movement. In many ways, it's the perfect trade. However, it's not all about champagne and victory laps. Alongside the opportunity for rapid profits lurks the shadow of hefty losses. The false breakouts. False breakout mimics a real breakout, drawing us in only to swiftly reverse. They can quickly wipe out potential profits and even worse, lead to significant losses. Come on, man. Well, it's got some support right here, so you know maybe I'll hang on to this 16 area, bounce back up. Come on. Oh shit! But what if you knew the secrets on how to spot these false breakouts and avoid their traps? In this video, we will talk about exactly how do you spot a real breakout and what are the secrets for identifying and sidestepping the false breakouts. So if you're ready to enhance your trading strategy and target quick, big profits, you don't want to miss what I'm about to share. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right into it. So the very first question we have to ask ourselves here is what is a breakout? Well, in simple terms, a breakout is when the price surpasses a key resistance level or a key support level. And take a close look what happens when the price actually bursts through resistance. Many times the price starts exploding, making this point right here an extremely attractive entry point. There are two main types of breakouts. First of all, we have the continuation breakout, which means that the price breaks out in the same direction as the trend. We also have what is called a reversal breakout, and that occurs when the price breaks out in the opposite direction of the existing trend, indicating a strong potential trend reversal. One very important thing to understand about breakout patterns is that the pattern will never, or at least most of the time, not look exactly as they do in the textbooks. For example, take a look at this falling wedge pattern right here. For the sake of this video, I tried to find a very clean looking wedge, but it is important that if we delete the resistance and support line and just look at the general market, you can see that when you are in actual markets, many times the patterns will be a bit hard to spot and many times there will not be the super clean school book patterns. If we just change the lines a little bit, you can see that this pretty much looks like the bullish flag. But the important thing is that if you understand markets and what type of patterns are bullish and bearish, you would have been able to trade and use this pattern even if you saw it as a bullish flag or if you saw it as a bullish falling wedge. One critical thing you need to know about breakout patterns is that they are all built upon the same principles. Every single breakout pattern is built like this. First of all, you have the price consolidating, which means that the price is going sideways. The price is then defined by a resistance level and a support level. After that, it breaks either to the upside or the downside. And that's when you as a trader have an excellent opportunity to take a trade. So right here, we have found an example of a breakout pattern. As we can see, the price consolidates here in between a resistance line and a support line. And right here, it finally looks like the price is breaking out. And we are ready to make some explosive profits, right? But this right here is the moment when people usually make a critical mistake. Let's say you take a trade right here. You enter after the breakout, right? You want to set your stop loss usually below the most recent low point, right? So you set your stop loss and perhaps let's say you have a target of a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. But one blunder a trader entering here is making is that they don't understand the nature of the pattern. This pattern right here is what we call a rising wedge and a rising wedge is actually a bearish breakout pattern, meaning that it tends to break to the downside. As you can see, a rising wedge pattern can both act as a continuation pattern, meaning that it breaks in the same direction as the trend, which is to the downside. But as you can see, it can also act as a reversal pattern, but still 
this is still considered a bearish pattern. So most of the times this pattern breaks to the downside. And because the nature of a rising wedge is bearish, this should act as a strong warning signs for all the traders trying to play this breakout. As you can see, in this case, the bears took control and it resulted in a quick loss. Another warning sign that appeared just the candle after where we entered was actually what we call a bearish engulfing pattern. And that is a bearish Japanese candlestick pattern that also indicates that the price might reverse. So in this case, we had multiple warning signs that this is a bad breakout. But how then do we find the best breakout trades? The explosive breakouts that leads to quick profits. Well, one concept you have to understand is momentum candles. In very simple terms, a momentum candle is a candlestick with a strong real body, which is the wide part of the candlestick. A rule of thumb when it comes to momentum candles in breakouts is that you want the candle that is breaking the pattern to be at least twice as large as the previous candles preceding the breakout. And preferably you want the candle to be three times as large as the previous ones. This indicates that the bulls have control and conviction and that the breakout is more likely to succeed. For example, take a look at this pattern right here. This pattern is what we call an ascending triangle and this is a bullish pattern, a bullish continuation pattern, meaning that the goal of this pattern is to continue the trend towards the upside. And as you know from earlier in this video, that is a great sign. But also take a close look at the candle that actually broke the pattern. As you can see, the real body of this candle is much larger than the candles preceding the breakout. So this right here can be considered a strong momentum candle. Another thing you want to look out for in breakouts is that you want the candle that breaks the pattern to close far above the resistance or support level. So if you take a look at this candle right here, you can see that the candle close was far above the resistance, which is a bullish sign. But if this candle, for example, started down here, we might have had a strong bullish candle, but if we only get a weak candle close, so if the candle closes near the resistance, that is actually a sign of caution. But in this case, we have a strong momentum candle, we have a strong candle close, meaning that the candle closed far above the resistance. We also have a bullish continuation pattern. So this breakout have a high chance of being a real breakout. And as you can see guys, in this case, this bullish breakout was actually the beginning of the Bitcoin bull run in 2020. One indicator that can make your breakout trades even stronger and more significant is the volume indicator. To open up the volume indicator in TradingView, you simply go up to the indicators tab and you type in volume. And then you choose the indicator that is simply named volume. When we see a breakout, we want to see a strong reading on the volume indicator. A strong reading on the volume indicator means that a large number of traders are participating in the move. And as you can see in this particular example, when we got the breakout, we had strong readings on the volume indicator, indicating that many buyers and sellers are agreeing that this is a valid breakout. The opposite of course applies for false breakouts as well. So when you see a breakout on low volume, that is a warning sign that this might be a false breakout. So now when you have learned about false breakouts and how to spot real breakouts, it's critical to learn about support and resistance. How do we spot real support and resistance levels and what makes them strong? So guys, I highly, highly recommend all of you to watch this video next. Happy learning.